Opposition leader Kamla Pasad Bissessa is calling on the government to declare the Penal Debe region a high priority relief area following a devastating impact to the area after prolonged rainfall on Tuesday. Speaking at her constituency office in Pinal, the MP for Separia lamented the struggles faced by hundreds of residents who were left stranded, marooned, or whose homes were severely flooded. I want to make, call, make calls to central government to urgently declare the Pinal Debe region a high priority relief area, a high priority relief area, and for central government to deploy the necessary resources. The opposition leader, together with corporation employees and other UNC MPs, joined by army personnel, went into heavily affected areas in Pinal, distributing food and cleaning supplies. Pasad Bissessa says one of the main factors contributing to the effects seen today is illegal developments. One of the key reasons for this type of destructive flooding is illegal backfilling of lands, illegal, illegal diverting of watercourses, illegal dumping of garbage and illegal developments by some persons and some entities. So why is it very easy to blame the regional corporation and or the central government? Both must share in the blame. She says it is unfair that the majority suffers due to the acts of a few and called on the government to do more to clamp down on such activities. The government and relevant authorities must take a firm, must take firm urgent action to address this matter. I therefore call on all regional corporations with the full backing of the local government ministry to do these things. One, issue stop work notices on illegal developments. Issue stop work notices on illegal developments. Ramp up garbage collection. Identify all encroachments and realignments of watercourses. And four, launch legal action against all offenders. Well, tonight, local government minister Faris al Rawi says his ministry is on top of the flooding situation in Pinal Debi. Since the release of the meteorological services announcement yesterday as to localized flooding has been in the middle of coordination together with the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force, the Office of Disaster Preparedness, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Social Development, and the disaster management units of the ministry and of the corporation, that is the PDRC, as well as neighboring corporations. In this regard, we have distributed and caused the distribution of hundreds of sandbags, relief efforts, um, mobilization of the movement of children who were temporarily trapped in their schools yesterday. He says he rejects a claim by the chairman of the Penal Debe Regional Corporation that tens of thousands of people are affected by the flooding. I note today that Mr. Gautam Murad seemed to have found the lost city of Atlantis, claiming that 10,000 homes were affected and underwater. I also note that the leader of the opposition claimed that she had tried to reach me. I can categorically state that so far our estimate is that approximately 400 homes are affected by the waters, but not damaged necessarily. Second, that I have received no messages from the leader of the opposition in relation to any aspects of contact in this matter. I, of course, would always welcome her call.